All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We have another viral problem, uh, one that's shown up um, on the internet. It's been debated back and forth uh, a lot, and I wanted to run through it. It's uh, 60 divided by 5 multiplied by the quantity 7 minus 5. Yes, the uh, parentheses here, the number 5 you see outside of the parentheses, that represents uh, what's called implicit multiplication. It's implied that we're multiplying 5 by what's inside of the parentheses. All right. So if you'd like to, you can pause the video here, work this one out on your own, and we will come back and work it out together. All right. For many of you, you probably did this one in your head. Uh, maybe not. You know, you might not be sure. So uh, that's why we're going to go through this one together. Um, the, it's, it's pretty common knowledge that uh, if you understand the order of operations, you know that anything inside of parentheses or brackets uh, would be solved first. And uh, this first step, I think almost everyone agrees, even the people who debate this back and forth on the internet, uh, would agree that 7 minus 5 is 2. Uh, so what we're left with is 60 divided by 5 times 2. And uh, from here, this is where things start to get squirrely and where the debates start. Um, if we're looking at the modern uh, interpretation of the way PEMDAS and BODMAS work, um, when we talk about, you know, I hear a lot of people talk about, well, you've got to clear the parentheses. Well, the way the, the modern interpretations of all this works is clearing the parentheses basically is taking this implicit multiplication and making it explicit, okay? So in that case, you have 60 divided by 5 times 2 equals what? Uh, well, here it's pretty clear. 60 divided by 5, remember, multiplication and division have equal precedence, and they're solved left to right. Uh, this is another area where a lot of people go off the rails. Um, you've got PEMDAS and BODMAS. Uh, a lot of people will look at PEMDAS, and I've seen people say, well... Uh, PEMDAS says the M is before the D, so I need to multiply 5 times 2 before I do any division. And that would be incorrect because multiplication and division have equal precedence and they're solved left to right. If you doubt that, please look it up on your own. It's all over the internet, easy to find. Um, following PEMDAS or BODMAS, doesn't matter which one you're using, you do the division first, going left to right. So 60 divided by 5 is 12, leaving us 12 times 2 is 24. Um, this is really how PEMDAS and BODMAS are, are taught, how, how that works. Uh, multiplication and division are solved left to right. Now, uh, again, we're talking about the order of operations here, right? Um, implicit multiplication is not given precedence over explicit multiplication uh, as the order of operations is, is currently taught. Um, I will see a lot of people argue that, uh, you know, when you have a number outside of the parentheses, it's implied that that is, you know, together, like 2y or 2a, like from algebra. It's considered to be one, one, uh, one unit, basically, I guess that's how I would say it. Um, um, but in the way the PEMDAS and BODMAS are taught, uh, currently, multiplication and division have equal precedence, and they're just solved left to right. Uh, there's no no precedence, no consideration of precedence uh, for implicit multiplication. Uh, and that's true for PEMDAS, BODMAS, BEDMAS, BIDMAS. These are all acronyms that give you the same answer um, of 24. Now, I want you to I want to say too, you need to be very careful with calculators and understand how to use your calculator. Um, cheap calculators um, and even the Windows standard mode calculator could end up giving you a different a different number, but uh, than 24. And the reason for that is that they do not work in immediate uh, ex, uh, execute. Ex, they don't not work in expression mode. They work in immediate execution mode. Uh, you can enter this in on a scientific calculator, uh, 60 divided by 5. Now, even though I entered the parentheses, um, the scientific calculator, it automatically does this. It automatically forced in the uh, multiplication symbol. You do get 24 uh, as the answer. Um, now, I will say, because there's going to be those people out there arguing that the answer is 6. 
historically, um, the obulus had a, a different interpretation than the way it's interpreted in modern times. Going all the way back to 1659 in the book Toitsch Algebra, um, the obulus was interpreted, and this goes up, you know, probably maybe a little more than 100 years ago, where uh, in, in, in some cases still the, uh, the obulus was interpreted to mean that everything to the left of the obulus, which is the division symbol here, this is an obulus, everything to the left should be divided by everything on the right. Uh, so basically everything to the left would be in the numerator, everything to the right would be in the denominator. Uh, and given that interpretation of that division symbol, 60 divided by 5 times 2, or 60 divided by 10, would equal 6. So that, that historically would be true. And also, um, there, is the, there is a convention, a stor an historical convention of implicit multiplication, um, it's shown up in some some journals, but um, you know I've got other videos that go through that on some of these viral problems. Uh, and with implicit multiplication, it would be given precedence. There are some scientific calculators out there that actually still give precedence uh, to um, implicit multiplication, or it's also referred to as multiplication by juxtaposition. Uh, most uh, scientific calculators, you could go to Wolfram Alpha. You could type this into Google. Uh, you're going to end up with the answer of 24. Um, all the scientific calculators I have will also give you the answer of 24. But I will say, you know, be careful. There's certain Casio models that are still out there um, that do uh, give precedence to uh, implicit multiplication. So just watch out for that. But I will say, you know, the the, the modern way that uh, uh, PEMDAS is taught, the order of operations is taught. Um, again, uh, the answer there would be 24. So um, I hope the video has been helpful. I hope it's explained um, some of the controversy that you'll see out there on this problem. Um, if the video has been helpful, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing. Um, all the comments help, you know, good or bad. Um, they're all great. Uh, they do help the channel, so I do appreciate it. Um, and I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video. Thanks and have a great day.